What's up? So I'm going to be making a best settings video. If you're playing Apex and you're new, this will help you a lot. So for settings, we're going to start off with gameplay. Um, if you're new, I recommend keeping interact prompts down default. I personally like compact since I've been playing for a while. Bun hints is just to give you less clutter. As you can see down at the bottom of the screen, it says four and Q for my ability and heals. Um, for crosshair damage feedback, I'd recommend X the shield icon unless you don't like a lot of clutter in your screen. But I like this for whenever I try to do a vert nade. And if you don't know what a vert nade is, it's when you throw a grenade up in the air and it'll land on the enemy. So I can tell what shield it is and what I can call it out to my teammates. For damage numbers, I recommend stacking because floating and both, you know, you just got to do math. And both just ruins it. Uh, ping opacity, I recommend faded for when you're trying to solo queue and your dead teammates are keep pinging multiple times. For obituaries, I just left this one on. I have no idea what this is. Minimap rotation I have on. That's pretty, I think that's default. Weapon auto cycle on empty. You want this to be off when you're trying to get a shield swap. You don't want to get shot and then you can't get it. Auto sprint, I recommend it's off because when you're using a shotgun and if you, and if you have auto sprint on, you'll begin you'll begin sprinting and it's harder to hit your shot. Um, For controllers though, I do have a couple friends who use auto sprint and if you're a controller player, it's okay. I'm still going to be going over the controller settings. Uh, I recommend auto sprint on, just don't move your stick all the way. That way you don't have to mash on your stick to destroy your thumb. Double tap sprint, I recommend is off. Jetpack control, use hold. You get more, you're more precise with hold and toggle and all things. Incoming damage feedback you want is 3D. 3D is always better than 2D, it's just common sense. Um, again, taking damage, close the death box, craft the menu. You want that set to off, because if you're trying to get a shield swap and somebody shoots you, you can't get it and you're dead. Pop up, pop up. I just leave it as on. It's default. It's, you know, it's whatever. Shimmer mode. Um, I have this off, but sometimes there's glitches in the game where people will put random ass letters in their name and it'll crash. So it's up to you. All this doesn't really matter. It's a performance display. Uh, I have this on so you can check your FPS regardless of whether you're on console or PC. You can check FPS, latency, packet loss, whatever it is to figure out why you're lagging if you are lagging. Mouse and keyboard, I play on 1600 DPI for all my mouse and keyboard players uh, with the 1.0. For 800 DPI, that's 2.0. I recommend playing on 1600 DPI because it, it is less latency. It's basically the equivalent going from a 60 hertz monitor to 144 hertz monitor. So I recommend 1600 DPI. And if the, the window sensitivity is too fast for you, like the cursor, uh, just go back to 800. It's not really worth 400 anymore. They used to play a lot on 400 But nowadays with with new mice if you have like a decent modern mouse, it's just worth playing on at least 800 um, ADS mouse sensitivity. I keep that as default uh, Acceleration mouse invert and lighting effects. I turn all those off um, If you don't know what lighting effects are, it's if you have something on your setup like PC fans mouse keyboard and It can connect with the game and if you go void, it'll turn purple. If you go into the void, aka phasing. For keybinds, this is very personal. Uh, there's only four I recommend having, for sure. Everything else is up to you. Uh, you want scroll wheel up or down on move forward so you can tap strafe. And then again, up or down for your crouch. So you can bunny hop. Or I mean your jump, sorry. So you can bunny hop. Uh, the last two are crouch toggle and crouch hold. So for you need toggle, either C or left control, whatever it is you want to crouch toggle with to be able to super glide. And if you want to watch that video, comment down, comment in the description or not the description, comment down in the comment section and tell me if you want a video on how to super glide. But I'm sure there's plenty of other better videos to watch. Um, you need hold to bunny hop. Make sure if you're a muskie player, you're in the air crouching so you're harder to hit in case you didn't know. You can crouch in the middle of the air. Um, these are mine if you want to copy. Again, it's very personal. You can always look up your favorite YouTuber or whatever to see what theirs are. But I don't recommend copying. I just recommend experimenting. All right. So video video settings. It's always best to keep everything on low. Um, about stretched res. Um, players like Fade. Use 1610 and what stretch does is just it makes things wider. However, it does affect your FOV. 
so you'll see less in certain aspects um i play on default i play on default 1080p monitor like a lot of you do uh, for brightness 50 percent you know good enough field of view i recommend maxing it out to be able to see the most however if you feel that targets far away you can't hit them or see them i do recommend toning it down to maybe about 100 and then experimenting from there uh fov ability scaling i recommend disabling this it just makes things more consistent um sprint view shake you want to set to minimal there's no reason you should want that vsync is off uh nvidia reflex enabled uh, at the bare minimum, have it enabled if you have an NVIDIA card. And if you want to try boost, you can go and try boost. But for my computer, it does stutter it. Um, Again, all this, anti-leasing off. But this right here, put this all to low for the best frames. However, if you set it, let's say very low, your game does look like a fucking potato. It looks horrible. So I have a decent PC, so I just like to put it on medium or low. Um, texture filtering by linear, AMA occlusion quality, disabled, low, low, disabled, 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 low, low, and then impact marks is high. I need to turn this back down. I did that so I can learn to recall patterns. Uh, audio. Um, if, if you're new to Apex, uh, audio isn't exactly the best thing in the game. So this really doesn't matter a lot, but of course, put your sound effects to 100 and dialogue to 100. Music is up to you. I just prefer not to have it on. Uh, sound and background, that's just, you know, if you're on, let's say, browsing the internet and you have Apex open. I just set it to off. I don't want to hear it. Um, these don't really matter. It's up to you. Voice chat input device. Yeah, it's, that's common sense. My masters are 41%. Master volume is at 41%. And that's all for, like, the MK players. If you're a controller player, this part's for you. Button layout, I would recommend customized and then try to put your crouch on the right stick. If you're from if you're from COD, this is basically known as tactical. It's easier to slide and a little bit harder to punch, but it is what it is, right? It's better to slide. You can always experiment with it, but that's just what I recommend. For interact slash reload button, I do recommend tap to use and reload. It's a lot faster. However, if you want to keep it separate, I recommend tap to use and hold to reload or vice versa. I personally, when I plug in a controller, I use tap to use and reload. My stick layout is default. Crouch button is toggle. Uh, aim button, hold. It's always better to have hold. Survivor slot button. I keep this on, but if you have an heirloom, you want to turn this off. That way you can be able to spin it if that's important to you. Trigger dead zones, always on none. Menu cursor speed. I recommend trying to put this as fast as possible that you can handle. Because since you are a controller player, it is harder to get shield swaps. But if it's a little bit too fast, turn it down, experiment, see what's best for you. For sense, AOC will always be on top. But that re requires a lot of experimenting. And if you're just new to the game, I recommend 4-3, too slow, 5-4. If you watch like somebody like Ecstasy, who's a great YouTuber, he plays on fast sense, but he also has AOC. So I recommend something like 6-5. Maybe seven, six, seven, four, something like that. I play on five, four. Um, I don't really mess around with optic settings. My response curve is classic. If you tend to play the game a lot, I recommend switching to linear. I have heard from other YouTubers that it is just great for for being consistent. Whereas lin for as classic is it's easier to use, but it has less potential. Look, dead zone none. Uh, movement dead zone small inverted look is off vibration is off vibration is very much a you thing i personally don't like it so i have it off this is all you some people it helps them aim some people it makes it worse uh, aoc if you want me to show you is all of this and this is what i meant by a lot of fine tuning if you wish to copy this i tried it a while ago maybe you'll like it but for me it just didn't work let me go ahead and shut that off. And yeah, that's that's it. That's all the best settings. If you need to see something, just go back and pause. Make sure to like it and subscribe. And if you want proof that these things actually work, just go ahead and check out my, my other videos. They're like clip montages of, they're called number one and number two. 
or my other videos with my friends or just random apex videos so that'll be all for today thank you guys for watching i appreciate your time and goodbye